how to find delta n in thermodynamics. If you're working on a thermodynamics problem and you're wondering how to find the change in the number of moles, or delta n, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to understand what delta n represents. It's the difference in the number of moles of gases between the products and the reactants in a chemical reaction. This is important because it helps you calculate other thermodynamic properties, like the change in volume or pressure, especially in reactions involving gases. To find delta N, you start by writing down the balanced chemical equation for the reaction. For example, let's consider the reaction where nitrogen gas reacts with hydrogen gas to form ammonia. Text N to G plus 3 to H2 a G, H2. Next, Count the number of moles of gases on the reactant side and the product side. On the reactant side, we have one mole of N2 and three moles of H2, of making a total of four moles of gas. On the product side, we have two moles of NH4, three. Now calculate delta N by subtracting the number of moles of gases in the products from the number of moles in the reactants. Delta N equals text moles of gases in moles of gases in products, Delta N equals 4 minus 2. Delta N equals 2 minus 4 minus 2. So for this reaction, delta N is negative 2. This negative value indicates that there are fewer moles of gas in the products than in the reactants. This method applies to any reaction involving gases. Just remember to count the moles of gases carefully and subtract the moles in the products from the moles in the reactants to find delta N. In summary, finding delta N is straightforward once you have the balanced chemical equation. It's all about counting the moles of gases and doing a simple subtraction. This calculation is crucial for further thermodynamic analyses, especially when dealing with gas phase reactions.